Attorneys general, state regulators, law enforcement, manufacturers, distributors, retailers, all sharing best practices on drinking alcohol responsibly. It's all part of the annual Center for Alcohol Policy Conference held in Chicago. South Dakota's attorney general says their 24-7 system requires DUI convicts to pay for their own twice-a-day breathalyzer tests. They have to look a deputy sheriff in the eye and they have to say, I haven't drank today. Then they have to prove it up and blow on that PBT. If they fail, they're going to go straight to jail. If they pass, they're going to go on to their family, they're going to go on to their job, and things work out just fine for them. Alcohol regulators here sharing notes, saying they don't advocate abstinence or eliminating liquor laws. They're simply honest brokers. Regulate based upon what the laws are. The referee that they turn to to find out what is legal and what isn't. And that's it. We, we're, the, we're the referee. The Center for Alcohol Policy Research helps each state legislature find common sense solutions. Well, there's been a big emphasis on, on deregulation. One of the focuses of the center is to justify the need for regulation. In fact, a Center for Alcohol Policy sponsored survey indicated 89% of all Americans believe it's important to keep the alcohol industry regulated. The most important issue is that we have regulation that's fair, regulation that supports access, and at the same time supports public health and uh, public safety. And now a new safety feature is Also on display at the conference, other emerging technology. The alcohol detection system will measure the alcohol in a driver's blood in less than a second. Mothers if Against Drunk Driving says this system could one day eliminate intoxicated driving. If the blood alcohol level's too high, the car won't start. The system is called DADS. DADS at the end of the day is a safety device. It's like an airbag, it's like electronic stability control, it's like a backup camera. It's something that's in your car to keep you safe. And Dedicated public servants and industry experts debating and discussing alcohol policy for the 21st century.